Welcome ladies and gents, this is uh, Inside Your Screen and you're here with Tony. Um, this is The Fallen Foundation by Ugly Duckling Games. Uh, purchased this on Game Jolt, it's for free. And the synopsis is thus. Uh, the Fungus Foundation, the first company in history to utilize man-made fungus in the world of medicine. They are pushing boundaries of genetic engineering with their work, and they firmly believe that they can revolutionize the modern world. They are constantly experimenting with new ideas and innovating when required. But sometimes it is best to remember that curiosity killed the cat. Um, yeah, so let's uh, let's start this. There we go. Nice little jazz music. Uh, floor three. Welcome to floor three. Home to cafeteria three. The fungal display case and sector of C laboratories. If needed, you can ask for our cafeteria staff for directions. Enjoy your stay. Uh, okay. Am I am I a visitor or do I work here? Let's see. In, in case of emergency, use the stairs. This is that kind of uh, really overused. Wow, I like the I like the benches of the thing. Okay, is the cafeteria. Can I run? I can't run. Okay, join our kitchen staff today. Are you hardworking, committed, and a fan of kitchen work? Then you should consider joining our cafeteria staff. Talk to your sector supervisor for more information. Looks pretty empty at the moment. So. Um, or security. Hey, come into the cafeteria, join security. Oh, FF. Fuck y'all. Um, all right, so, wow, those are massive doorknobs. Like, those are, those are like butt plug doorknobs going on here. Female toilet, and if you can't tell, if you're blind, then you just fill along the door until you find your way in. Did you know your work is helping shape the world? Keep at it, the Fungus Foundation. All right. Uh, and what's this here? A little note. Kitchen closed until lunch break. Don't touch anything. Especially you, Osman. Osman, you fat bastard. Uh, no, can't enter that door. Okay, so it's preset kind of way. Welcome to floor three. That's where I am. Display area over there. Sector C over there. Let's go display. Let's see all the funguses and fungi. So this is, I guess, what uh, people have been working on. Am I? Who am I? Am I just some visitor? Because if so, um, revolution in the medicine world. Okay, I get that. I get the whole kind of, you know, using mushrooms to do that kind of stuff. Can we go in here? No, obviously not. Music stops. Can't run. I feel that music will become very irritating very soon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I suppose this is where we're gonna go. Into the uh, klaxon wailing. Yeah, okay, didn't have to push anything, just ran in. Ooh, it's just popping in. Oh, it is, okay, so, okay. I do like the textures here, but um, that's not a good sign. We're going to R and D, okay. With the and the yeah, alrighty. That's alright. R and D is just like a little. Hang on. How tall am I? Am I a child? Because these cubicle partitions seem very high for someone who's a worker here. Um, nope. Can't push anything. Can't see anything. It's January 2021, so we're near in the future. Although the PCs are very square, blocky like. Can I zoom in? I can't zoom, I can't even read the Ah, oh, that would have been a nice feature to read the emails. I do love that in certain games where you can go into cubicles. Look how big this chair is! How small am I? Am I am I a small person or am I a child? Have I just wandered in off the streets looking for mama here? Okay. That's a massive chair though. And not ergonomically designed, even. Okay, so that's all. Can't go through that way. So, gonna have to go through different cubicles. Hopefully, we'll see. So, I can't crouch, can't crouch. Okay, the Fungus Foundation. Join our team today. You'll wish you did. Um, Alright, so, there's no names on the cubicles, so... I'm looking for Osman, the fat bastard who was in the um, cafeteria eating all the Cheetos. Uh, 
Ew. Okay. So this is clearly Osman's desk. <laughs> wow, there's some... Uh, what are those chips called? M myth? Myth? Myth. Kind of look like uh, Golden Wonders. So it's like, uh, glick in the system. Not glitch, not glitch, glick. This looks like a game. Is this a previous game that the developers made maybe? All right, we got some notes here. Cody, I have heard rumors that you have frequently been playing video games. I politely ask that you stop it at once. This is your first warning. Sincerely, Harry. Cody, if I catch you playing games on your computer before lunch break, why would you, all right, you've been reprimanded because you're playing games. Why would you, on A4 paper as well, because this would be an email in the, in the day and age that we live in, you'd print out your email, then somehow export it onto A4 paper and then put it on your little cubicle, like a kind of badge of honor. Okay, well this is this is obviously then um, Cody's, Cody's, and he's he's not had a good time here. Cody has has flipped out. Maybe. All right. Can we play the game? No, you don't even let us play the game. Come on, man. All right. So that's Cody's cubicle. We may be coming out to that. I may have already gone in here. These are all becoming very similar looking. Um, yeah. Let's. Oh, no, that's the wrong way. Sorry. So we've got more toilets again. It's a very uh, toilet friendly place. I do like it. Um, we've got a little family here. Nothing of note. Motivational poster, our faith can move mountains. Do you know what? As much as uh, people hate those motivations, I quite like them. I quite like motivational posters in the workplace, especially when they're um, very dark. Oh, what have we got here? Uh, okay, so this is fungus related. I do like the fact that they've been using Wikipedia pages. Okay, let's go to the toilets. I'm sure that will we'll see like a dead body in here. So I went, no, no, can't can't go in there. Uh, can't go to male toilets. All right, okay, we're gonna head back. And I'm assuming something. There we go. Yep. Nothing's chasing me. Oh, uh oh. Which is, uh, can I go in here now? Okay. This the way I came out, right? No, I don't know. Dude. Oh well. Experimentation area. Okay, this is a new place then. Okay, so they've been experimenting with the fungi. He's a fun guy, and uh, it all went a bit kind of tits up, I guess. Um, getting a kind of feeling this may turn into Little Shop of Horrors. Did you know the work is helping shape... Oh, we've already seen that. Okay, can I go in this way? Nope. Okay. And massive chairs. And very blocky desks. Uh, I'm sure I can read this. Test one. Oh, progress is good. Fun I, it's too... I'll tell you what, I'm just going to leave it here for a second. If you want to pause the video and you want to read that, you can. I'm getting a sense that uh, science experiments did not go well with the fungus. Um, yeah, if anyone who's, who's worked in offices before, it's pretty accurate. No matter what, you must always wear a gas mask and protective suit within the testing area. Fungus is experimental and could potentially be lethal or spread disease, like the coronavirus. <laughs> Wow, that was uh, okay, that was bad. <laughs> I'm gonna say that was a bad sound effect, man. Um, yeah, that wasn't good. Was that the guy? If it was, at least move him around. That was a that was a really <laughs> that was a really bad sound effect. Kudos for you know trying to give a jump scare. Though. Okay, we've got another dead security guard here whose hand has glitched through the the the. The, the floor here. Sorry, bro. Okay, let's, uh, let's carry on. Okay, so we're back out, and um, oh, okay. So now I'm exposed to the uh, fungi because there's a big crack there. Hmm. So can I basically pertain that? Hmm. 
that I'm going to hallucinate now or I'm going to turn into something. The bin's knocked over. Can I go in here? No. Back in the cafeteria. Osman's nowhere to be seen. I'm assuming that he came to get some snacks. Couldn't find them. I'm following the blood trails. When in doubt, follow... Why is there like fire coming from the female toilets? Oh, it's from the vents. Okay, um, good. Take, taking out the contagion. I'm probably going the wrong way here. But uh, once again, following the blood. Oh, that's where I came in and it's, uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's a very, oh, actually, hang on. Yeah, very Baphomet style looking. Let's go up. When in fire, when in doubt, always go up. And everything just turned off. Okay, let's, yep. <clears throat> Come to our customer service area. Wow, this is very Parks and Rec. I can just see, <laughs> I can see Ron Swanson just kind of sitting here hating life at the moment. Turning around, run, run, and he'll just be, oh, there's someone over there. Oh, okay, we've got our first uh, Zambimo. Um, I, I don't, I can't do any weapons. Let's just have a look at this guy. He's very slowly moving. Very George A, remember. He looks, he's the model of the security guard. Okay, um, I'm guessing I just run past this guy. Uh, you come, <laughs> he could be the Ron Swanson. Hey, Ron, hey, Ron, I want to make a complaint. About the Parks and Rec service going on here. Can I go in here? Oh, I nearly can. Oh, they just made it open just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to run past you now. You're boring me. Bye. Is this just glass? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, well, hello. Hang on. Wait there. Okay, so this facility has been taken over by the Zambinos. And we go this way. It's a nice white. No more blood. Join a security force. Yes, give me a gun. Can it do that? Can we... Uh-oh. Darkened room. Uh, a prisoner? Of, is, this, is this patient zero? Of the um, mushroom? No, just turned off. Okay. I uh, can't see anything. Can't move anywhere. Scary, scary music. And... Uh, ne oh! Oh! Oh, so that's the, uh, that's the Fallen Foundation. <laughs> okay. Um, thoughts? Uh, it was actually, you know what? It, it, yeah, I like the, I like the setup. I like the atmosphere. I would have appreciated knowing who I was, um, because at first I thought I was an employee. And then as I started moving around, everything seemed very tall. Like the partitions of the walls seemed very tall. So I didn't know if I was a child. I don't know if that was a, a, a game design. Um, but yeah, if this is a demo, um, then it, you could bring on some more features. Maybe I'm, you know, a Dr. Freeman type character that's come in to see things. Maybe I'm just lost and I found my way into the foundation. I wanted to know more about that. That, that was intrigued me. Like, I, I like the fact of like, you know, using mushrooms to utilize medicine and I think there should be more of that that would have been more fun uh at the end it was just a kind of lone zombie staggering towards you uh <laughs> George Romero style um and you could easily just outpace him um the jump scares I didn't really feel that there were any I'm sorry if that's um not what you were expecting um but it there was there was atmosphere in the game I did like the atmosphere I like the kind of Elevate music at the start that could have came out that could have like drawn onto more things. The cubicles, I tell you what, more, the, the more scary thing at the um, at the moment was the cubicles. Only because I've worked in offices for the majority of my life and I know how soul crushing and uh, destroying they can be. So that could have been played on a lot more. I think you could have had a lot more scale to kind of use the cubicles um, to have like these different personas and then possibly see the different people dying. Uh, in certain ways. We just saw like two security guards. Uh, one was a model that was used for the zombie later on. But you could have, that could have been like, uh, you could have um, elongated the story there. You could have expanded the world um, of the Fallen Foundation. 
But um, you know what? Not bad. Not, not one of the worst horror games that I've played. So um, yeah, that's The Fallen Foundation. This has been Inside Your Screen. And uh, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you on the next uh, gaming video. Bye.